Today we've got a huge two-part review of Mass Effect 3 and check out a new game just announced by Microsoft. Plus, we are going to go hands-on with an $18,000 piece of gaming hardware. X-Play starts right now. Hello and welcome to X-Play. I'm Adam Sessler and this is my favorite show on this Citadel. And I'm Morgan Webb. That's how you get paid. Now, coming up on today's show, we've got your first look at Forza Horizon. This new racing game was just announced for the Xbox 360 and we'll talk with the developers about what's in store. Plus, we are going to go hands-on with the Blue Tiger Motion Simulator. This rig takes racing and flight games to the next level, but it does come with a hefty price tag. It could cost upwards of $18,000. And later, Pro Gamer T Squared will show you how to not get shot into seven or eight pieces in Gears of War 3 multiplayer. All right, because I get shot into nine every yeah. time. Well, he, maybe, he can't help you. Maybe it'll come later in the month. But first, it's time to import those saves. Mass Effect, awesome game. Mass Effect 2, X-Play's 2010 Game of the Year. That means we're coming into part three with some serious expectations. The conclusion to the sci-fi trilogy is finally here, and here's our review. <laughs> have any chance of surviving this. We have to stand together. Mass Effect 3 is finally here, and all I can say is, this is how you end a trilogy. Welcome back, Shepard. First of all, Bioware does an excellent job of setting the tone, and no moment depicts that better than this. Immediately, you know that a fight like this is going to tear at your heart. That's the beauty of this game. It makes you feel. There's nothing hunky-dory about this war, and every step of the way, you're reminded of this impending apocalyptic doom. That's the way it should be, because each victory, no matter how small, becomes that much sweeter. I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. The Galaxy at War terminal gauges your progress as you accomplish a variety of tasks to prepare everyone for the final fight. These tasks include everything from scanning systems for war assets, I found something, going on rescue missions, or completing the main story missions, among other things. If you're a completionist, you should be able to achieve a high enough preparedness rating in one single player playthrough. If you're not, you can increase the score by playing the game's multiplayer. Stay alert, enemy is regrouping. Naturally, playing the game with imported saves makes for a much richer experience. However, if you've never played Mass Effect 1 or 2 before, Bioware has thoughtfully constructed a way to experience the series for first-timers, which is good news for everyone. For many who felt the RPG elements were more streamlined in Mass Effect 2, Bioware has introduced much deeper customization options this time around. The new ability trees allow you to further alter your power's behavior. You'll find a variety of armor pieces strewn throughout the game, and better yet, each class can use every weapon and mod them to their liking. Overall, they're excellent improvements that allow you to truly tailor classes to your playstyle. As we all know, Mass Effect 3 is more than just story and customization. There's the action, which we'll cover in part two of our review. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Stay tuned, because part two of our review is coming up later in the show. That's when we're going to talk about the Chocobos that are in the game. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we're talking about good role-playing <laughs> games. Sorry about that. Ooh. Uh, one thing that, uh, that's new to Mass Effect 3 is a four-player co-op, which you actually are, are a fan of, and it's another way to help boost the old war efforts. When four-player cooperative action works, it's great. Mm -hmm. We're counting down the top five perfect combos in today's X-List, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. All right, coming in at number five, Rock Band. It's really, really fun to decide which person in the group you like the least and then make them play bass. I play bass. And now you know. 
Number four is Castle Crashers. It's a glorious marriage of RPG leveling and classic beat em up action. Also, really weird and funny. Yeah. Our number three pick is Gears of War 3. Knock the difficulty level up to insane and find out who's really bad at taking cover. Coming in at number two is Left 4 Dead, a game that requires actual teamwork, whether you're shooting infected or barfing out survivors. My favorite part of that game. But our number one four player co op game is Borderlands. Many fights have been started over stolen weapons. We suspect there'll probably be even more of those fights in part two. Yes, a bazillion more fights in part two. <laughs> The Forza Motorsport series has been consistently solid since its debut in 2005. There's a stability I wish I had in my own life. You do realize that you'll never achieve that, right? I just wanted my bowels. That's a start. The franchise is expanding with some big DLC for Forza 4 and a brand new game called Forza Horizon. Here are all the details. Gentlemen, start your engines for a brand new pack of racing content from Microsoft's critically acclaimed Forza franchise. New cars, old cars, and even a brand new game. I'm so happy to be joined by Dan Greenwald of obviously Forza fame. Uh, it's good to see you again. Great to see you as well. You have announced, with very little information, a new Forza title that will be coming out in 2012. Is there anything more that you can say about uh, Forza Horizon? I know you guys keep it kind of tight-lipped right now. We want to give Horizon the time to, you know, get into development and show people things. So it is March, there's a lot of time between here and E3, so we'll be giving a lot more details in the future. While you may have to wait a while for details on Forza Horizon, Dan was much more forthcoming about the specifics of Forza 4's March DLC pack. So let's talk about the newest uh, expansion pack. This is the Pirelli pack. It has a very wide variety of cars in it. Um, for sure. Let's just talk about the one that stood out the most to me. The Griswold's favorite car yes, is, is pretty much the actual one, the, 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 the Country Squire. When you look at the Ford Country Squire, right, it's a giant station wagon, wood paneling on the side, roof rack. You look at it and it's great comedic relief, it's great for doing painting, but also it's got this big gas guzzling V8 engine. Other cars, one well, they know was the Chevy Nova. Yeah, the Nova's in there, the Corvair is in there. <laughs> Unsafe at any speed, <laughs> yeah. great car. Now we also have some very high-end cars in the Pirelli pack. The one that really stands out is the Aston Martin. Yeah, the Aston Martin's beautiful. And now, in this new Zagato V12, they've actually made more of a race version of a V12 Vantage. It's a beautiful car, lots of racing-inspired lines. And let's also talk about uh, the, the other announcement, which is Porsche is returning to the Forza series. Obviously, huge Porsche fan. Everybody on Turn 10 is. So bringing Porsche back, and bringing them back in a big way. Not just in a, a 10 car pack, but actually an expansion pack. 30 cars, seven new cars never seen in the game before, 20 new events, five hours of gameplay, gets sucked into the world tour, there's achievements, there's gamer score. This is a big deal, and I'm really excited to finally be able to deliver this to the Forza 4 customer. Well, the DLC, it's come out today. Uh, Porsche is a little ways out there, and Horizon, it's on the horizon. Uh, thank you so much for your Absolutely. time, I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Play. Do not miss part two of our Mass Effect 3 review. If you don't know the score, what is the point of living? Plus, Kristen Adams will go hands on with the ultimate motion simulator. And Pro Gamer T Squared will help you destroy the competition in Gears of War 3 multiplayer. We will be right back. Today's X list is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Critics are calling John Carter the first big blockbuster of the year. Go to youtube.com slash John Carter to see an exclusive 10 minute scene. John Carter, rated PG-13, in theaters and IMAX Friday. Go to youtube.com slash John Carter today. Five oceans. Seven continents. Whatever it takes. Wherever it takes us. America's Navy. A global force for good. Faced with becoming nothing, 
we fight for everything. Mass Effect 3. Rated M for Mature. Better with Connect for Xbox 360. Every Wednesday I sit down with the G4 dance team to talk news, new releases, and everything that's going on in the world of games. Listen in at g4tv.com slash feedback. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the bounce dryer bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do! Power! Are you ready? When college life gets out of control, it's up to the cops of Campus PD to protect these students from themselves. Ride along with them in all new episodes and see what happens when class lets out. Let's go! Campus PD, tonight at 10, only on G4. To help simulate the experience of driving a car or flying a plane, you can go spend a couple hundred bucks on a racing wheel or a flight stick, or you could be a baller, pony up 15 grand or so, and get the Blue Tiger Motion Simulator. Kristen Adams is rich, so she got a hands-on demo of this crazy rig. Listen up, virtual Earnhardts and armchair Andrettis. You may be the first to the finish line with a controller in your hand, but do you have what it takes to get behind the wheel and make split-second decisions, all while feeling the track pull away from your body as you try to keep pace at over 200 miles per hour? The Blue Tiger Motion Simulator aims to answer that question for you as it brings all the twists and turns of video game racing to real life. Brace yourself, because you'll never look at a controller the same way again. Watch out, Danica. Move it or lose it, sister. I'm here with Bob Childers, president of Blue Tiger Racing Simulators. Bob, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell me how Blue Tiger is different from other racing games out there. Blue Tiger is a motion simulator. So you load in the racing game that you like, and then Blue Tiger adds all of the motion and kinetics to the race game. So you have the video, you have the audio, but in addition to that, you also have all of the dynamic motion that you would feel if you were in the real race car. You feel the centrifugal force as you go around a corner. You feel the acceleration and braking. If somebody bumps you while you're on the track, you feel your car shake. In terms of maps and car customization, things that gamers look forward to when playing a racing game, what does Blue Tiger offer? Blue Tiger allows you to do everything that you would normally do with any racing game you have including pick your car, pick your track, pick the race league, pick the kind of racing that you're interested in. In addition to that, Blue Tiger lets you pick whatever very, very realistic controls you might want. So if you would like to have a stick shift or a paddle shift or push button shift, you can set those on Blue Tiger to work. How long ago did you guys start developing the technology for Blue Tiger? Both my partner and I are long-term sports car racers and I would say maybe as long as 15 years ago, we thought, wouldn't it be cool if there was a device, a simulator, that was very realistic, but reasonably priced. And until about five years ago, there wasn't enough technology to actually do that. So we started working on the Blue Tiger idea about five years ago, and I would say that the most important thing that we've been able to do is we really have been able to capture the, the, the authentic feel of what it's like to be in a car. What we were trying to do is trying to make something that a race car driver would sit in Blue Tiger and say, yes, this is what I'm used to feeling when I'm in my race car. Mm. This is how it's supposed to feel. So what's the price point, like 50, 60 bucks? Yes, <laughs> with the coupon. <laughs> Blue Tiger ranges from about 12,000 to 18,000, but that's absolutely everything, including the game computer. 
Yep, you heard that right, folks. So if you're the kind of hardcore gamer with money to burn and a need for speed, you can order your own Blue Tiger motion simulator at bluetiger.com. I got the pedal to the metal! That looked exhausting. Very hard. All right, coming up after the break, we've got the second part of our Mass Effect 3 review. And yes, we will slap a score on this thing. Plus, Pro Gamer T Squared will show you how to turn your foes into jibs in Gears of War 3. We'll be right back. Ready for this? My name is Aurora Guerrero, and I make films about real people in real places. My feature film is a story about two 15-year-old Chicanas who are growing up in Southeast LA. It's a story about first love. I got a call from Sundance. They told me that they wanted to screen Mosquita y Mari. It's just like, this is it. This is the heavens saying, Aurora, you're up. Bing. Mr. Sandman. fresh pack sauce, to our fresh veggies, to our 100% fresh dough, never frozen. At Papa John's, we believe fresh is better. For a limited time, get any large pizza for just $11. Order now at PapaJohns.com. If you like video games, you need to be a member of Gamefly. Join Gamefly. Choose the games you want online, get them in the mail, and send them back when you're done. There's no due dates, no late fees. This is the best way to play all the games you want for a great price. Go to Gamefly.com now. Click the joystick in the top right corner, enter G4 in the box, and get started with a free extended trial. And remember, you can cancel at any time. Product shown rated E through M. Now you can also play PC games as often as you want with our new unlimited PC Play, free for members. Warm and inviting luxury. Custom tailored design. The calm center of your otherwise hectic universe. Do you think they've gone to sleep? Sleepovers involve very little sleep. I'll take a look. <laughs> Let's watch another movie. We take comfort and peace and quiet to another level. I love this basement. Basement remodeling by Comfort Windows. Don't miss the lowest prices of the season at Metro Mattress. The savings were unbelievable. Like a Trump Home Queen pillow top mattress for just $599.99, or a complete Therapeutic twin set starting at just $349.99. That's fantastic. Plus, no one sells Tempur-Pedic for less. Qualified buyers get 0% financing till March 2013, and free delivery. Works for us. Hurry in. The lowest prices of the season won't last long at Metro Mattress. Welcome back. Mass Effect 3 is the conclusion to this generation's biggest trilogy. It has everything. A compelling story, meaningful player choice, solid combat. Oh, and you can have a private meeting in your quarters with Blair Herder's wife, if you catch my drift. Here's part two of our review. Oh crap. Get back! All right, it's time to lock and load and take the fight straight to the Reapers. The cavalry's here, gentlemen. Combat in Mass Effect 3 feels much more visceral, thanks in part to the new melee moves. You'll also find enemy and squad mate AI has improved. Expect tougher fights and better tactical strategies to deal with them. I could do this all day. The weapon mods also add some new dimensions to firefights. Ever wished you could shoot your pistol with a scope? Well, now you can. 
is saving the galaxy on your own isn't enough, there's also the multiplayer. On the whole, it's fun and solidly built. You'll unlock plenty of options for your characters and weapons as you level up. There's also something satisfying about seeing all the classes in front of you working together. The only thing lacking seems to be that the maps don't really offer a robust set of strategic options, such as constructible fortifications or large turrets you can interact with. The multiplayer is good, but its lasting power will depend largely on how well future DLC expands the new mode. Fortunately, Mass Effect 3's single-player campaign tells a story so gripping it overshadows any foibles the multiplayer might have. On top of that, the reintroduction of deeper RPG elements gives every player a chance to play Shepard as they see fit. It's an amazing conclusion to an epic franchise, and it marks the series as arguably one of the greatest video game trilogies of our generation. I like that. Mass Effect 3 gets a resounding 5 out of 5. Fight or we die. I think it's safe to say that Mass Effect is the definitive video game trilogy of this generation. They, they delivered. I, I'm, I'm going to re reiterate that. Okay. I've seen very few trilogies. This includes the Lord of the Rings movies and definitely the books that actually resolve themselves in such a satisfying way. I mean, I think people were a little bit. I was a little bit unsatisfied with the ending of the second one. So. Well, and, and, and that's what happens for like things that are in the middle because it has to be that bridge before what you want to get to. But I, yeah. what I can say, and I don't want to give anything away, uh, much of what you did and do in two really is present in three. And you really actually, I, I, I kind of want to go back and play them all through again because with, with that eye towards the value of what Mass Effect 2 brings to the trilogy. Well, the story is actually very well integrated and it does pay off, like you said, 150 hours. Across those three games? Of, of gameplay, exactly. I mean, think about it, I mean, that's, that's how many times have you invested in something, in, in a creative product that requires that much time of your life? And, and what that really seems to do is, A, it highlights how clear the storytelling is. Over a period of six years, I remember every character in every single event, and it really makes it a far more emotional experience at the end. There are a couple misty-eyed moments, because it's, it's big and bold, <gasps> but there's moments eyed? of remarkable, intimate digital acting in this game that's actually quite affecting. Um, okay, so presentation-wise, there's really no comparison to the medium. It looks amazing. It's yeah, the the the, the cutscenes. Uh, no movie, I think, could actually replicate some of the stuff that they're showing in the game because it would either be too expensive or look incredibly stupid. I mean, there there, there is some drama that, that that's really present in Mass Effect Three. Okay, so what about your AI buddies? How how do they fare? Um, they're strong. I you know I would manage them more when I needed their biotic powers because the, the combat is definitely harder than it was in Mass Effect 2. The AI is far smarter. The, you know, they'll throw grenades to get you out of cover, they will flank you frequently, and there's a large variety of enemies. I don't want to give any more away on that. And you really have to be a lot more strategic, and so you're going to want to use your teammates' biotic powers. Choose carefully when you go out on missions. And, and what uh, what kind of character did you play? I played as a Vanguard, which I found to be quite easy in Mass Effect 2. Just do the biotic jump, get the shotgun out. Uh, towards the end of the game, uh, you throw yourself in the middle of a bunch of enemies, you are not going to make it out alive. You had to be a lot more cognizant about that. All right, um, one one last little thing. You should stay through the credits. Yes. Is a little surprise. Yes, and it's, it's 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 quite clever. It's quite clever. All right, let's send it over to Blair. Ethically, I cannot give my opinion on this game since my wife is one of the characters you'll be interacting with. And if you try to sleep with her, I will find you and I will kill you in your stupid faces. After the break, Pro Gamer T Squared will help you boost your kill death ratio in Gears of War 3 multiplayer. We'll be right back. I'm serious. I'll find you. Hot tub time traveler Clark Duke teleports into our studio for the new comedy, A Thousand Words. And take cover! Adam Sessler brings us the final chapter of Mass Effect in Game Break. It's Attack of the Show next. Every one time, two times, three times, four times, jump back. Unwrap your paradise. Soft, sweet coconut covered in rich, creamy chocolate. Almond Joy and Mounds. Unwrap paradise. Our tribute from District 12, Primrose Everdeen. Ah, I volunteer! I volunteer 
tribute. Happy Hunger Games. This is the time to show them everything. There'll be a bow. Make sure you use it. Peter, you make sure to show your strength. And we're ready. Three, two, one. The Hunger Games. Ready PG-13. Begins March 23rd. Who has the Doritos? Who has the Doritos? You want one? Sorry. <laughs> Too bad you're down there, and I'm up here. G4's hit show, Bomb Patrol Afghanistan, returns with all new episodes. Recently uncovered footage will get you closer to the action than ever before. All new episodes of Bomb Patrol Afghanistan start March 27th, only on G4. Go to Facebook.com slash Bomb Patrol for more info, and x will be back in just a minute. What's better than a s'more? A warm s'more cookie in a skillet with a scoop of ice cream. Ah, the great indoors. Just four dollars on our two four six eight value menu. Only at Denny's. Shh. Did you hear that? It sounded like the Choco Beast. The what? Half man, half beast. He'll stop at nothing to sink his fangs into people who steal other people's chocolate temptations. But you guys have nothing to worry about, right? Ah! Nice job, Choco Beast. Thank you. Six indulgent layer desserts at 150 calories or less. Temptations. It's the first jello that's just for adults. Welcome back to the show. Gears of War 3 multiplayer isn't something you can just pick up and play like Halo or Call of Duty. Inexperienced players will instantly find themselves on the business end of a shotgun wondering what the hell just happened to them. If you want to survive, just listen to these tips from Pro Gamer T Squared. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Tom Taylor, but you know me as T-Squared. T-Squared. I've got the Gears of War 3 tips that'll have you gaming like a guy. Like a I've been dishing tips for all the first-person shooters out there. Now it's time to jump into the biggest and baddest third-person shooter ever made, Gears of War 3. If you're gonna be playing Gears of War 3 online, the first thing that you have to master is the claw. Like Bruce Lee, I got the claw. What is clawing? Clawing is a certain way that you hold the controller in order to improve your roadie running skills. Take your index finger and put it on the A button while keeping your right thumb on the right analog stick. You can see where your friends are, and more importantly, where the enemies are coming from. Plus, so you don't lose control of your aim. With your middle finger placed on the right bumper, you can active reload while you're roadie running. Now, you can reload on the run. A new strategy that I've implemented into my game is the mantle kick. It's my favorite way to stun an enemy, and it leaves them completely defenseless. A mantle kick is when you're facing an opposing player on the wall directly in front of you. A solid mantle kick will leave the enemy stunned and wide open for an easy shot. Noobs! Follow these tips in Gears of War 3, and you'll be cutting the competition up in no time. Tomorrow on X-Play, we'll exclusively reveal a new weapon and a killer enemy from Irrational Games' Bioshock Infinite. Plus, we've got reviews of SSX and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Slash will show you how to play guitar in Band Fuse Rock Legends. Plus, Morgan's gonna help you save money on some great games. 
I not, am. Not bad games. You want to save money on those. No, I Pay am. Full super price for those. I am super cheap. I, yeah. <laughs> I do love the I do. Um, so, you know, we're going to see this exclusive trailer for Bioshock Infinite yes. tomorrow. Um, I have to say, after Mass Effect 3, that's the only other game I think that could be the best this year. It's going to be amazing.